Welcome back. You're watching Overdrive. Now, we've been battling the rain gods the entire day for one reason and one reason alone, to get these beauties onto the MMST racetrack. The boys are waiting and the engines are raring to go. So let's get started. This racetrack was designed in 1979 by British racing great Jackie Stewart. Every corner of this track, every inch of the tarmac, helps decipher what a car is made of. Which is why it plays host to several racing championships every year. The Volvo S80 with its humongous petrol V8 and all-wheel drive is a car to watch out for. But the new age diesels can fight petrol cars tooth and nail in the performance aspect. But the talky punch gives them an extra edge. So the Volvo S80's petrol V8 came armed with lots more cubes than the diesels here. It had 4.4 litres of displacement and 315 PS to put down via those four fat sticky tyres. With that engine and those numbers, this car sounded like a recipe for fun. But just like your favourite fairy tale, along came a twist in the tale. It showed up in the form of a corner. You know, I really wasn't expecting the Volvo to be great when going around corners, but I was expecting that it would be really fast going down the straights. After all, it's got a gigantic V8 under the hood, churning out some 300 plus horsepower. But surprisingly, even over there, it's outgunned a bit by the diesels. In contrast, the 5 Series is at the opposite end of the cornering spectrum. It's only rear wheel drive. And if it weren't for the traction control, the 195 horses would smoke those fat sticky tires to lay down strips of rubber every time you hit the gas pedal. The rear wheel drive and slightly lenient safety control systems give the Beamer drifting qualities that a tuned sports car would be proud of. The steering is so crisp and precise that I feel I could drive this car infinitely. It's all put together so well, there's so much of feedback coming in from the tires through the wheel. Oh, it's an incredible experience. And there is one trick up this one's sleeve that others will find hard to compete with as far as the fun factor is concerned. You can switch the traction control off completely. BMW might as well have called this button double the fun in the flake button. It's so impressive. Switching it off gives it complete control of the car. And woo! That's what I'm talking about. But all the sideways action adds precious seconds to the lap times. Remember, the winner here will be the car that does its hot lap the quickest. And this is the one that could give the BMW a run for its money. Quattro. That's the name of the game. And with power being sent to all four wheels via some seriously intelligent electronics, this one can fly around the track. And that saves the A6 from facing any potentially embarrassing situations on the track. It handles corners without fuss. Four wheel drive keeps it glued to its line. Unfortunately, that means less fun. Or does it? There's so much grip around corners that I know what Formula 1 drivers feel when they complain about neck pain. Gosh, I need to invest in a neck brace. But if you're driving the E-Class, you could probably save the money for the neck brace and buy a spill-proof coffee container. Because this car rocks and not in a good way. Try changing directions in a hurry and you might be reminded of your childhood playground seesaw. Now once upon a time if you gave an enthusiast a ball, he'd just be so happy. But not anymore because the competition has come in and changed everything. The mark in comparison just feels very soft. So when you put it out on a track like this, it just feels pretty much the same way it did out on the highway. But that doesn't mean you can't have fun, because where there's a will, there's lots of screeching action.
Okay, I think that's enough warm up laps. It's time to get out and do some really hot laps and figure out which one of these cars is the best driver's car. <laughs> We were driving on a very fine edge, balancing the cars on the very limit and stepping over it every once in a while. But every slip up, every spin brought us closer to finding the right car for the job and that is the ultimate driver's car. Smoking hot. This is the winner, ladies and gentlemen, of the overdrive quartet race that we've just completed. Shirish, was that a blast or was that a blast? Oh, damn, this car's good. <laughs> so you've pretty much been in this car through the drive. And I want to live in this car. You want to live in this car. Kartik and Bud. Saw so losers, are you guys feeling miserable? Well, oh, we got to admit the feed, fine, fine. I really think that the A6 is really good, but when it comes to driving and really pushing it to the limit, the beam is still what makes it the ultimate driving vehicle? Now, this is an exquisitely engineered car, fantastically put together and you know it's got a great gearbox and the handling is superb, very very dynamic. I guess it's a fantastic car. Worth though. half a crore? It's worth half a crore. The car just shrink wraps itself around you. Everything is so together, you feel so involved in whatever the car's doing. And that's what makes it a driver's car, doesn't it? Okay, it's a superb car and it is the winner, ladies and gentlemen. With that, it's time for us to wrap up our first episode of Overdrive and we promise it's only going to get hotter. So come back to us next week. Till then, from all of us here from Chennai, goodbye and thanks for watching.